everyone. It's Matt at Narrowland uh, with another one of our uh, world famous quick Webflow walkthroughs. And today what we're going to be going over is a little task that I see uh, plenty of designers and developers getting tripped up on. Um, and that is integrating a MailChimp uh, campaign into your Webflow subscribe form. So for example, what we want to be able to do is have a user enter their email address and user information. If you want more than that, um, name, phone number, et cetera, into a form and have that automatically, uh, populate their web flow, uh, lists. So it's uh, quick, if you know where to look and, uh, what settings to put in place. And here's just a little walkthrough to. Uh, put you at ease and give you something to follow uh, next time you have to do this uh, task. So I've already set up a uh, sign up form here on MailChimp for this example. And then over on uh, Narrow Labs on Webflow, I have a uh, subscribe form, very simple, just email address that we'll use for this. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you'll choose your audience. In this case, we're going to use the Narrowland newsletter, for example and you want to click the sign up forms option. After that, you want to click the second option on the list or second at least now as uh, MailChimp stands, they change things from time to time, but you want to look for embedded forms and go ahead and select that. Um, from here, you can customize this form as much as you'd like. So you can add additional fields, I think, as you know, um, play with the settings here in terms of size and width. Uh, <clears throat> tagging, which might be helpful when you get into your uh, organizing your audience. And you can even add a referral badge if you'd like. Uh, the referral badge and uh, the settings, frankly, are a little bit uh, relevant at this point since we're not going to be displaying this form. We're just looking for um, a piece of the code that we can put into our um, Webflow form. So you get the point here. <clears throat> so we'll keep it real simple. Email address email address. So your form needs to line up. So you need to have the same fields as you do on the um, subscribe form on Webflow. So let's say we're all set here. <clears throat> we're going to click on continue. And this is where we get into the good stuff. So you don't need uh, most of this. You want to scroll down to where you see the words form action. And this is where the good stuff is. So we want to grab everything inside of these quotation marks. Uh, which is essentially going to tell your uh, Webflow form where to send the data once it's submitted. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that. Uh, you can close out of here if you want. I'll leave it open just uh, to keep things fluid. And you want to come over to subscribe form. Once you have this code, pretty simple. Uh, you need to do two things. First of all, you need to add your action. So the code or the uh, you know, URL, snippet, whatever you want to call it, goes right here. Second of all, you want to make sure your method is post, uh, not get, post. If you ever get tripped up on that and you're trying to remember and you don't have access to this video, uh, scroll to that uh, point in the form and you'll notice it's form action post. So it's telling you what it needs to do. Um, if you want to add a redirect URL, you can do that at this point. We typically will use a thank you page, but really to make sure that the form is taking in the data and uh, sending it to your MailChimp list, that is it. So you would add the uh, action, you would make sure it's set to post and you're all set. You could go ahead and publish and moving forward, uh, once that's all set there, Anybody that enters <clears throat> uh, their email address into your form and hit submit, it's going to automatically jump right into your uh, MailChimp account and populate your lists. So hope this was helpful. Uh, as always, let us know if you have any questions, leave a comment uh, if uh, there's something that we can elaborate on and um, keep going. Keep uh, making your Webflow sites better and hope that these tutorials are assisting you in doing so.